Ball silicate is a low expansion glass used in applications where glass needs to be resistant to breaking from either thermal shock or differential heating. It's common in laboratories, concentrating solar collectors, and glass smoking pipes. Here is one way crushed recycled boral silicate can be used to make tile. Get crushed boral that can include all of the grain sizes from one quarter inch down to powder. The very fine powder is needed in the mix because it ties the whole tile together and the larger pieces help to eliminate cracking while the mixture dries and fires. Make a simple open bottom mold. Here are the pieces. There's the open bottom mold box, a piece of wood that just cut to just fit into the box, a piece of glass cut to just fit the box, and what I call a release surface, which is a piece of linen here. Coat the piece of glass with oil and stack the pieces like this. The wood on the bottom, then the release fabric over the glass, then press the pieces into the mold bottom. Get dry ceramic talc and ball clay. I use a ball cake clay called OM4. Both of these ingredients are available in any good ceramic supply store. Mix the ingredients in these proportions. 10 grams ball clay, 10 grams talc, 80 grams but crushed borosilicate. The tile I'm making here is 5 by 5 and weighs 300 grams. Mix in enough water to make a stiff mixture. I used 45 grams of water in 300 grams of dry materials or 15% of the weight of the dry materials. Spread the mixture into the mold. I'm doing this on a vibrating table to facilitate compaction, which I may show how to make in, a, in another video. Press, press the mixture into the mold and smooth it off. When you're satisfied, press the tile up from the bottom. Place the tile in a warm place to dry. Because there's, because there's not much clay in the mixture, the tiles can be dried pretty fast. I put them in the sun in Santa Fe or into a 250 degree Fahrenheit oven in the winter. When the clay is dry, coat the clay with a mixture of sodium carbonate, also called soda ash, and bentonite clay mixed in water. I use a water mixture with 7.5% bentonite clay by weight. For this 5x5 five five tile, I mix 4 grams of soda ash in 10 grams of the bentonite clay water solution. Bentonite and soda ash can be purchased at ceramic supply stores. Brush the salt solution onto the tile. The clay won't dissolve in the solution because it's too rich, rich, rich of a mixture. That's okay. Just spread it as evenly as you can. You won't need to dry the tile again. Fire the tile in a kiln. The profile I use is to go as fast as possible to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Hold for 10 minutes, then 15 minutes to 1800 degrees. Hold for 15 minutes, then turn off the kiln. The glass fluxes the boil silicate glass, the salt fluxes the boil silicate glass on the surface and creates a glaze. This is not unlike the effect of Egyptian paste, which you may already be familiar with. One nice thing about boil silicate tiles is that once they cool below 950 degrees, you can remove them from the kiln. This tile was made using this method and blue boil silicate. There are many other possi possible coloring strategies, which I hope to present in another video. You can also sculpt with the glass, dry it, then coat it for glazing. The possibilities are endless. A similar but somewhat different process works with regular window and container glass. I'll make another video about that. Contact Dave for boral silicate. These tiles file f fire fast enough that a continuous kiln like this can be used. Contact me if you're interested in that.